The film opens in Costa Rica, where a scientific team, led by Dr. Michael Morbius, reaches the entrance of a cave. Morbius instructs the team to set a trap before cutting his palm to entice a creature from within. Subsequently, a swarm of bats emerges, prompting the crew to retreat to the helicopter. However, Morbius remains motionless, as if anticipating something. Shifting back 25 years to Greece, the narrative introduces a young Michael Morbius, who, alongside Lucian, is under the care of Dr. Emil Nicholas due to a blood disease. During their initial conversation, Morbius spontaneously nicknames Lucian Milo, after a previous individual with the same name. After a casual chat, Milo's machine malfunctions, leading to his collapse. Using a pen spring, Morbius repairs the device, earning praise for his intelligence from Dr. Nicholas, who plans to transfer him to an exclusive school in New York. Post Morbius's departure, Milo faces harassment from bullies, ultimately saved by Dr. Nicholas. Summarily, the adult Morbius achieves a doctoral degree at the age of 19, gaining recognition for his efforts to cure a blood-borne disease. Despite receiving a Nobel Prize in Sweden, he rejects the award and returns to treating Anna, who shares his affliction. In the hospital, Morbius collaborates with his girlfriend, Dr. Martine Bancroft, expressing concerns about his strenuous efforts. Martine also references Milo, the benefactor for their project involving the remixing of human DNA with bat DNA. Morbius tests his serum on a lab rat, resulting in the rat's death and Anna experiencing a seizure. They manage to induce a coma in Anna before she suffers a stroke. Confirming the serum's effectiveness, Morbius informs Milo and Dr. Nicholas of the breakthrough, seeking additional funds from Milo for experiments in international waters, emphasizing the urgency of their situation. In a concise version, the ship heads to international waters, with Martine joining Morbius for assistance. After ensuring the serum's safety, Morbius conducts a human trial injected by Martine and secured to prevent mishaps. Chaos ensues as Morbius, transformed into a vampiric monster, breaks free from the lab, attacks mercenaries and escapes, leaving a trail of destruction. After eliminating all individuals on the ship, Morbius awakens, discovering his body has undergone a positive transformation. He proceeds to the control room, observing footage of himself attacking and draining blood from the men through surveillance cameras. Initiating a mayday call, Morbius takes serums with him and jumps into the sea. The following day, FBI agents Simon Stroud and Rodriguez arrive to investigate. Although they find Martine alive, Morbius has erased all surveillance footage. Simultaneously, Nicholas and Milo learn of the incident from the news. Returning to the hospital, Morbius heads to his lab, consuming blood samples to satisfy his thirst. Evolving from a frail state to possessing remarkable speed and strength, he enters a tank, acknowledged as the bat's leader. Realizing artificial blood lacks long-term stability, Morbius, on the verge of relapsing, is aided by Milo, who provides additional blood samples. Milo, eager to be injected, is refused by Morbius, resulting in Milo's expulsion from the lab. FBI agents question Martine about the incident, but she refuses to answer. That evening, a vampiric creature attacks a nurse, and Morbius learns of a nurse's death, indicating he wasn't the culprit. Confronted by agents, Morbius fights back, attempting to flee by climbing the hospital. However, he is soon apprehended and taken to a detention center. Stroud and Rodriguez interrogate Morbius, accusing him of the nurse's murder. Becoming unstable, Morbius requests artificial blood, but the agents leave without fulfilling his request. Milo later visits, providing artificial blood before leaving. Realizing Milo took the serum and killed the nurse, Morbius transforms into a vampiric monster, breaking out to chase his best friend. Meanwhile, Milo becomes a monster and kills a man. Morbius confronts Milo, warning him about the dangers of their powers. A subway station confrontation ensues, with Milo killing officers effortlessly. Despite Milo's desire to fight, Morbius opts to flee through the tunnel. Agents arrive, believing Morbius is responsible for the officers' deaths. Martine is discharged, and Morbius, explaining his condition and Milo to her, seeks her help as artificial blood loses effectiveness. Following two thugs from a cafe to their lab, Morbius asks for the laboratory, subduing a stab attempt. Meanwhile, Milo flirts in a nightclub, handling his powers well. Observing from a distance, Milo kills a group later on. 
Agents find no one at Martine's place, unaware of her collaboration with Morbius in a new lab where they share a kiss. FBI agents discover dead clubgoers, realizing Milo is the true culprit, not Morbius. Dr. Nicholas confronts Milo, leading to an argument where Milo severely wounds him. Morbius completes an antibody harmful to vampiric bodies, intending to inject it into himself and Milo. Receiving a call from Nicholas, Morbius rushes to his location, but it's too late, as Nicholas dies upon his arrival. Milo kidnaps Martine, and using his superpower, Morbius locates her, finding her severely injured. Running out of time, Martine allows Morbius to drink her blood to pursue Milo, inadvertently ingesting a small drop of Morbius's blood. Enraged, Morbius attacks Milo, resulting in a battle between two vampiric monsters. They fly and crash into an underground tunnel, where Morbius summons a horde of bats to surround Milo. Injecting him with the antibody, Milo loses strength and dies. Covered by bats, Morbius flies away as Martine is revived as a vampire. In a post credit scene, a multiversal rift from a Spider-Man movie opens up, leading Adrian Toomes to this universe. Released from his cell, Toomes meets Morbius, offering to team up for the greater good. Subscribe to watch more videos, turn on notifications, and leave a like to support the channel. Thank you for watching.